Scientists from across the country came out of their labs today and called on the government to stop cuts to funding for scientific research. They say Canadians have a vested interest in public science, that much of our standard of living is thanks to scientific discovery and innovation. And they're warning that is in jeopardy. Margo McDermott has more. What do we want? Evidence-based decision-making. When do we want it? After peer review. Their chant may have been a bit tongue-in-cheek, but their message was serious. Science is being destroyed. Me start showing up wearing their lab coats, having come from their laboratory. Things are looking pretty bleak. The, the federal gas. government has cut funding for everything from freshwater research to climate change. Quite and scientists the say they're being muzzled, you know, told not to talk to the public or even colleagues. The information that is collected by scientists is not getting out there in the public space. And that means that Canadians are uninformed about important scientific issues. An example, research on melting Arctic ice. An American scientist who worked on the study says he was told by the Canadian government to sign a gag order. Andreas Munchau refused, but he's now wary of working on Canadian projects. It's much easier right now, from my perspective, to work with people in, in, in Denmark, in Germany, in Norway, in Iceland, um, Brazil. Calvin Sandborn's Environmental Law Centre has launched a complaint. He says they have proof of a policy to control scientists, especially those doing research into climate change and the effects of oil and gas development. The Federal Information Commissioner is now investigating. If a scientist shares the knowledge that they've gained with taxpayer-funded research, they can be fired. And we're saying that that's a remarkable threat to democracy. But the minister in charge says scientists do interviews and publish their work in journals all the time. At every stage of the research uh, process, scientists are aware what they should and shouldn't be disclosing. And I think we've had an open dialogue with Canada on that basic research. Greg Rickford says his government has moved away from funding pure science to instead paying for research that benefits industry and the economy. He says they'll continue to do that because it helps provide jobs for Canadians. Margaret McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.